Huh, I know my bed isn't made right now, but don't judge me. I just woke up, so hit the intro. <laughs> So like I said, I like literally just woke up. I believe it's 9.30. And I saw that the Justice League Snyder Cut trailer just dropped at DC Fandom. So I was like, you know what? Let me set up my camera, put some clothes on because I can't record naked because that's another website entirely. And let me do a trailer reaction. So here we go. All right, HBO Max. Oh, fuck. Dark Side is right out the gate. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to rewind that, because I wasn't expecting that. Whoa. Right out the gate. Okay, they're bringing this scene back. That man is so sexy. Oh my God, Jason Momoa. Oh, we get the black suit. It's been so long, like, I forgot Kersey Clemens was cast as I Iris West. It wasn't much. I couldn't feel. So I tried to touch. I've told the truth. I didn't come to fool you. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the speed force. All right. This guy's oh, there's more. Hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets. He's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's one. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. Okay. <laughs> just say that last line that Batflack just gave like that right there is like quintessential Batman that's quintessential any type of superhero team up movie like why wasn't that in the original movie like that was a great line I don't what do you say I don't care how many superheroes he's fought I don't care how many wars he's fought he's never fought us together that's Batman right there that's any rallying like I believe they had a line like that in Avengers, like, and Joss Whedon did Avengers, so why wasn't a line like that in Bat in in the original Justice League? Instead, you saw Batman being a jokey, oh my knee or my leg or whatever, which was like, that's not Batman. At least that's not the Ben Affleck Batman that we saw. But anyway, based on what I like. I don't even know what this is like. My thoughts are like all jumbled right now because I'm like, whoa. That was not what I was expecting, especially seeing Darkseid right out the gate like that. And I had to rewind it. Actually, I need to go back to that real quick. Just this Darkseid moment. All right, pause. <laughs> like, I was not expecting to see Darkseid like in the very first scene. And as I'm looking at him though, 
Part of me is like, I don't know. Granted, I get Dark Side came first, but I'm like, this looks exactly like Terex, one of the heralds of Galactus, who I believe came after Silver Surfer. I didn't realize until right here how similar these two look. A lot of people like to compare Thanos and Dark Side, but still, like showing Dark Side right out the gate like that, I'm like, oh yes, fucking give it to me. One thing I will say though that they didn't show, which I'm surprised considering how much fanfare and, and conversation that they had about this character showing up in the Snyder Cut, but they didn't show up in the Joss Whedon ver theatrical version. Is Green Lantern? There were no Green Lantern te teases in this uh, in in this trailer. But either way, like originally, I thought the release of this Snyder Cut was kind of a stupid idea because I'm just like the movie came and gone. We got what we got and there's no point of doing anything else. But after seeing this, I'm kind of like, I'm doing a full Missy Elliott flip it and reverse it. It's your yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I take that statement back completely because I'm like, after watching this, this looks like a completely different movie. And, and just based on the trailer, I'm like, this kind of got me excited, more so in the fact that I'm just curious to see what Zack Snyder's final original vision would have been. Now that doesn't necessarily say this movie's gonna be good because let's be honest, Zack Snyder had his final original vision in Man of Steel and BVS and I wasn't that big of a fan of either movies. Like even the director's cut that they released for BVS, like yeah that first half was decent and, and much better than what we got in the theatrical release but you still had that terrible second half. So this movie may look good in the trailer but it still may end up not being that good. But Based on what we got from this trailer, I'm, I gotta say I'm way more excited. And I heard that the Snyder Cut is gonna end up being four hours long. And since it's on streaming service, even if it was in the movie theater, I'm here for longer movies. Like I heard at one point, Ryan Coogler, his final cut for Black Panther was about four hours long. And I was like, I don't care, give it to me. But you could definitely see from this trailer that Cyborg has a lot more to do. There's, I mean, all of the characters look like they have a lot more to do compared to what we got in the theatrical version. And I couldn't help but notice like the song playing during this trailer was Hallelujah. And in some ways, it makes absolutely no sense considering what the storyline is gonna be. But then I'm thinking to myself, well, of course they're gonna play this song because it's like, hallelujah, it's a miracle we're even getting the Snyder Cut. Color me impressed and a lot more interested and invested and curious about the Snyder Cut. So yeah, but have you guys seen the Justice League Snyder Cut? What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you can't hit that thumbs up button and like this video to really help out the channel. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, please check out the other videos on my channel and if you like what you see please subscribe for more and hit that bell notification button so you're alerted every single time I post a new video and tell your friends families and neighbors about my channel to help me continue to grow and as always I'll catch you guys next time gotta run